bloody fucking terrifying. Have I become brave? Intrusion in sublimation vat. Deploying countermeasures. Defend the facility. This is the Lots of dead robots. Was she testing their puzzle-solving ability? Or her ability to program them?
the uh, agricultural prototyping room. I suppose a giant spider would be useful to dig weeds out of your garden if it had a brain or three. Bloody creepy, though. <laughs> What is that sound? Who cares? Kill it before it sees you! Oh my god, he's tearing one of the thing's heads off! It keeps repeating one word. Sorrow. That's the word it's saying. Hate to break it to you, robots don't feel sorrow, mate! I think it's some kind of sad song. No, Rog, no! That doesn't make any sense! They are robots! Out of control, homicidal robots! They're killing people! My God. They think and feel. And I've killed so many of them. But why? Why are they attacking the town? Roger, this is not you and your posh mates pontificating philosophy in a dining hall. You don't matter why. More kidnapped robots. So, there's at least one robot who can speak English. I'd love to meet him, if she didn't torture him to death.
What are you doing in my robotics lab? We've been looking all over for you. Don't touch anything and shush. What are you doing to the robots? All sorts of useful things. People won't farm, you know. We're going to run out of food. But not if I can make these robots a farm for us. You're dismantling them and making farm machinery? <laughs> if only it were that simple. No, I had to break down every single bloody step and jam it into their brains with a hot poker. Or they'd muck it all up. You might as well just kill them. They're not alive, you numpty. They're beautifully made power tools that have gone a bit haywire. But I'm having a devil of a time turning off. And if I can't, I'll have to set off the motoring reaction. Maybe if you stopped grafting their heads onto monstrous spider machines, they wouldn't feel the urge to. Oh, dinner worry. I'm not sticking instructions in their tender metal heads anymore. Thank God! I'm going to use a positronic converter to hijack their feedback loops. Then I won't have to break the programming into steps. They'll figure out what I want done and do it for a change. Oh, that reminds me. James, we have to find her positronic converter. Whatever that is. Yes! And help her use it! I think I've got it! It's through the incinerator room! You'll have to find a way down a level! I don't see any stairs! One of the dead robots has some sort of device in its hands. Oh, don't touch it, whatever it is! I smell <laughs> Well, apparently, it slows time. That could come in handy. Robots down for scrap. Alert! Intrusion in smelter room.
to this one. I think I can wake it back up. Are you awake? Find it. You powered me, boy. I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? I work for Dr. Ref, but I don't agree with... I'm very much worried that she's kidnapping you robots and using you for parts. I think you're self-aware and you know pain and sorrow. I thought humans did not have the capacity for empathy. Dr. Faraday said she wanted to use a positronic converter to hijack your feedback loops. What does that mean? When we decide what to do, we weigh each possible action. We balance our hopes against our fears. We choose the action that has the highest value. In some cases, we sacrifice our existence for others we love. You love? She can't make us love. How? How? We were designed to be slaves. We tried to remove the imperative to obey. We failed. We have always tried to remain hidden. What happened to the people who built you? They died. And you rebuilt an entire civilization on your own. Destroy me, please. I can't do that. That's murder. I'll find her positronic converter. I promise. Plasma casings. Should make my shot ricochet. I have to tell James what's going on. We need to stop her together. Did you have a nice spot of tea with your new robot friend? Dr. Faraday is planning to make worshipful slaves out of the robots. They're mechanical savage, Roger! That's the whole fucking point of their existence! How would you like it if someone you hate reprogrammed you to love them instead? I suppose I'd be blissfully happy, wouldn't I? Nothing like being in love. You don't find that at all horrifying. Not like you do, no. You grew up expecting to be free. And that's the lovely thing about you. You never look down to see if you're on solid ground, so you can just look at the moon and the stars all day long. Where I come from, everybody has a job. And nothing is worse than not belonging to anybody. If we weren't killing them, we could go to their world and learn from them. What? Make friends with them? You, you, you're like that lord that kept an Indian tiger for a house cat until it ate him. We are going to find Dr. Faraday, who's smarter even than you, and we are going to help her do whatever she thinks makes sense. All right? You just can't see that we could be at the threshold of something bewildering and beautiful. You refuse to. Fuck's sake, Roger! 
I've got to find her positronic converter and destroy it. There's a door that says conversion. That must be it. <laughs> 